Bill here with Carcraft Classics. Once again, showing off a new piece of uh, inventory. Take a look at this beautiful 1967 Chevrolet El Camino Custom uh, is the model. Take a look. Butternut yellow from the factory. YY code on the trim tag, top and bottom. Paint is in excellent, excellent shape. I'd call it a, a solid 8.5, 9 out of 10. No signs of rust, bubbling, cracking, or anything in the paint. I don't even see any scratches. I mean, it really, really is in great shape. <clears throat> Take a look at those wheels. It's got 18-inch coys on it. Kind of cool. Got the hideaway valve stem. 275s on the rear, the tires, and 225s up front. So this is one of those cars where we kind of played detective. Uh, we were told it was a numbers matching car, and as it turns out, it is. This car was born with that drivetrain, and in 1967, they didn't have a Super Sport model, but they had a Super Sport package. Uh, the Super Sport model didn't come until 68, um, and I believe this car to be a Super Sport upgraded uh, package car. Well, let's take a look under the hood. Before we get there, you see that 396 badge there. And what do we have under the hood? But a nice big block 396 cubic inch motor. Again, we ran the numbers. This motor was born in this car. It's got the last, I believe, seven digits of the VIN number stamped on it. Uh, take a look, you see power brakes, power steering. Quadrajet carburetor hiding under there. Runs like a top. The car starts and runs, as I'll show you in a minute, really, really well. Talk for a minute about the exhaust. Uh, you know, everybody loves headers, I know that, but this is more of a, again, numbers matching stock uh, car here, and you see it's got the stock uh, manifolds, uh, exhaust manifolds. Fairly new exhaust underneath. Uh, looks like uh, Flowmasters, two and a half inch pipe going out the back. Car is absolutely immaculate. Top, bottom, and everything in between. See the inner fender wells. No signs of rust. Again, we ran all the numbers. That trim tag over there tells us that, you know, this was a a Fremont, California uh, car came out of that plant. Again, that YY indicates yellow top and bottom. The butternut. It came with a uh, what they called an imitation leather seat, which is not in there at the moment, but we do have it tell you more about that in just a minute take a look at that car so anyway you're probably asking yourself why do I think this was the super sport uh, upgraded package so first thing we see here first of all the big block second of all if you look the way this radiator was manufactured one of the telltale signs on the Chevelles is that little cutout or that little slope right under the cap where the regular part of the radiator is flat that's kind of sloped that's an old hot rodders red flag for a super sport back in the day when you couldn't verify it by the VIN number and if you look underneath this car aside from it being super clean you see the factory sway bar that's another thing that was part of that super sport package from what I've been told in my research some of the other things you see the super sport hood of course that could be could have been put on but again all these things together lead up to it being a, uh, a car that was upgraded with the super sport package talk about the transmission another indicator of the super sport package this one's got the more heavy duty turbo 400 which you don't see every day most of them have the 350 The rear end, as I'll show you in a minute, is also the more heavy-duty version. It's got the 12 volt instead of the 10 volt. And one really, really cool thing that I don't think I've ever seen: factory air shocks with hard lines run up to what basically equates to the package tray on these El Caminos. Although it doesn't have a back seat, it's got this little tray here. 
And if you look at that air valve right there, that is to, you know, add and remove air from the factory air shocks. While I have it, let's take a look here. That little smuggler's compartment, I think they call it. We'll take a look at the interior in a minute, but while we're out here, the interior or the bed has been painted to match. It's got a few dings, but the paint is in excellent shape. Put that little Chevy little panel up there with the Chevy bow tie. And if you know anything about these El Caminos, you know that if they start to rust and they're not taken care of and stored properly, where they start typically is right in this little tail panel, which as you can see is in excellent shape and rust free. Super solid car. Got this little tonneau cover on it. Nice look. Finish off the bed. Let's take a look underneath at that exhaust and that 12 bolt and those air shocks. Hopefully you can see that on the video. But don't worry if you can't, I'll have still shots of it on my website. <clears throat> so again, aside from this being a numbers matching car, we believe it to be that you know super sport package take a look at the body panels on this car just unrivaled it super slick super straight gaps are good doors open and close great as I mentioned the paint is in excellent shape okay no bubbles along the bottom none of that stuff Koi wheels really look great against that butternut yellow. Now, the interior. <clears throat> this interior, or I should say, when we decoded that, uh, that trim tag, it said that it had imitation leather seat in it. And right now it's got a cloth seat. And the reason for it is the current owner had the factory seat recovered. And they just made it a little bit too plush for him, for his liking. He's a bigger guy, but anyway. It may not be much to look at. I'll give you that. But man, is it comfortable. So, whatever lucky owner gets this car, you will have the opportunity for either seat. Either the super comfortable one, or the nice, freshly covered, brand new factory seat. And again, they'll be pictures of that on my website hey one thing I forgot to mention before we get into the interior the trim in this car is in excellent shape there's two spots as you can see that trim is really really great the bumpers are in good condition as well there's two spots in the trim or on the chrome on this car that are showing their age that's one spot right there on that piece that runs up to the roof on both sides and then the door handles but the good news is that we have brand new door handles and brand new uh, pieces of replacement trim uh, in the box and again still shots on the website okay so to the interior door panels perfect excellent shape rockers excellent shape Dash pad also in great shape. Lights work, gauges work, everything works. The wipers, actually drove it to the shop in the rain. Runs like a top, it's got a decent little cam in it. But anyway, there are a few things that aren't original, that steering wheel being one of them. Obviously it says Chevelle on it, but fits the car, period correct. There's the gauge cluster, and again, everything works there. Even the indicators for the blinkers on the dash there. Factory AM radio still in there. Heat does work. New carpet kit. Again, those door panels are in great shape, like new. Dash once again, great shape. Okay, let me give you a shot of the headliner. Interior light even works. Just really, really a great car. Let's let you get a listen to it. Again, 
factory uh, stock exhaust manifolds. Two and a half inch pipe going back to full master exhaust. I'll tell you something about the, the way this car drives. After I let you hear this. seasoned veteran hot rodders out there you'll know what I'm talking about when you get in the car and you drive it big block or small block sometimes the motors just feel tired the responsiveness say in the pedal when you, when you jump on it just a little bit of a delay carburetor might not be tuned real well this car has none of that it is super super responsive it's unbelievable actually almost has like a, a new late model feel to it the minute you touch the gas the front end is jumping up and it wants to go. Hopefully, whoever buys the car will be able to come down here and test drive it, see exactly what I'm talking about. But not only looks great, but drives really well too. Power steering, power brakes, doesn't dart right or left. Just really, really, really good condition. It drives excellent. So anyway, we, uh, we look at the market with this car, uh, just like we do with all our cars. And the fact that this is more of a rare car, not only being, again, numbers matching, but being that, uh, you know, having that super sport package added to it with the big block and the, the turbo 400, the 12 bolt, the factory air shocks, the factory sway bars, on and on and on. The SS hood, the SS badges, you know, the fact that this is a more rare car, <clears throat> I haven't seen any out there, but I would think most people would price it above the market, you know, for the regular base El Caminos out there that aren't numbers matching, but don't really want to do that. Want to make this uh, something that the average guy can afford, like we always do in Carcraft Classics. Uh, and I see the market for these cars in this condition to be in the mid-30s, and that's exactly where we've priced it. You know, the term driver quality has been thrown around so much that it's hard to really understand what the heck that means anymore. But I'll tell you, this car is not driver quality. This is well above driver quality. And again, sorry to be redundant, but the rarity associated with this car and the history, the provenance, makes it a more valuable car. Our asking price is $34.5. And feel free to give me a holler if you want to make an offer or you have a question. Or if you want to come down and take a test drive, that'd be awesome. My number is 770-317-1415. Again, my name is Phil. I'm with CarCraft Classics. I can also be reached via email at carcraftclassics at gmail.com. And be sure to visit us on the web for all those still shots, the undercarriage, the additional parts, and what we just showed you here in this video at carcraftclassics.com. Thank you again for watching, and God bless America.